with all, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you both for your service and for being here today. Uh, I want to focus on Russia for the moment, and particularly, uh, General Van Herc, uh, the resources that you have, NORAD, NORAD and NORTHCOM, in the Arctic area. Do you think those resources are sufficient to protect our national security? Should they be enhanced? Senator, no. I don't think I have the infrastructure, the communications, uh, the ability to respond and be persistent in the Arctic. What kind of additional resources do you think should be provided? Yeah, I would uh, point back to the, uh, the report that uh, the NDAA directed me to do. Uh, that I provided to Congress that gives a list of the challenges that I face. Uh, I need additional communications capability, data and information sharing, the ability to be persistent, so fuel north of Dutch Harbor, Alaska. We need to do more research and development on capabilities that are going to uh, uh, go into the Arctic, platforms to ensure they operate. When you send platforms into the Arctic and they're non-functioning, uh, that's a concern for me. I can talk more in a classified environment. The infrastructure is the biggest concern. So in a layered defense concept, I need to have forces forward. That would include at Thule, Greenland, in Canada as well. So NORAD in Canada has to be part of this discussion as well. We need persistence. That requires icebreakers. Uh, we, we as a nation are in a bad shape when it comes to icebreakers, and I, I fully support the Coast Guard's plan. We need to go faster. Coast Guard needs more icebreakers in that area. Do you agree? I do agree. Uh, General, have you seen any effect in terms of the, the Russian resources or threat as a result of the Ukrainian operation? So I, I'm not aware of any direct uh, kinetic threat to the homeland. Uh, we continue to monitor the cyber domain and especially through their proxy actors. I can talk in a classified environment. I'm most concerned about that cyber domain. I would point out that while Russia appears to be a failure in the land domain in Ukraine, they still maintain significant strategic capabilities to hold our homeland at risk. And we've seen them just as active, actually more active globally, to include in the NORTHCOM AOR, such as sailing the Gorshkov with hypersonic missiles uh, just a couple of months ago through my AOR and into General Richardson AOR and more persistent submarine activities that can hold our uh, nation at risk. Uh, let me ask you both, maybe beginning with General Richardson, uh, the Wagner Group has been very active in Ukraine, it's been very active in Africa. Have you seen any evidence of its malign activities in your command? Uh, Russian malign activity is alive and well in Southcom. And uh, uh, in my statement, I talked about the disinformation campaign. Over 31 million followers now um, on Russia Today, Espanol, and Sputnik Mundo. They don't play by the rules. They don't have any rules. Uh, and uh, they, they pose uh, uh, journalists to be legitimate journalists. They're not. Uh, Twitter bots are off the charts, and these especially increase uh, right before elections uh, in our partner nations. And so it's very concerning, but it's a very much alive and well with Cuba, Nicaragua, Venezuela, that Russia continues uh, to keep their alliances with. Thank you for that. That's very helpful. Uh, and do they operate also through proxies like the Wagner Group? Yes, Senator, they do. In your command, General Van Herc, what have you seen? Uh, Russia is, is active. As you know, the Mexican military uh, utilizes Russian helicopters. Uh, I would love to see those helicopters go. They, they have asked uh, through foreign military cells for options. Uh, we, we don't move fast enough. Uh, the question we got earlier about foreign military cells to deliver uh, capability to basically uh, punt the Russians out of Mexico. Uh, I, I would also point out that uh, from a space perspective that uh, Russia is active seeking uh, under academic and research uh, facilities, uh, accessed for space monitoring in my AOR as well. I'll just leave it at that. I'll talk to you more in a classified environment about that. But it's alive and well right here uh, in the NORTHCOM and NORAD AOs. Thank you. I, I agree with you about the helicopters. By the way, we should be providing American helicopters, not relying on Russian helicopters. Yeah. Can I point out one more thing? Sure. I've been working for more than a year after I committed to provide radars to the Mexicans 
for domain awareness for transnational criminal organization and, and drug control. We still haven't been able to donate those radars. The process is too slow. Thank you. Thank you both for your testimony. Very informative and helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Blumenthal. Let me note uh, the vote has started and recognize Senator Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want